this is our intro to essential oils class. Welcome everyone. Thank you for joining again. And I am going to share my screen so I can show you guys these beautiful slides that we have. I hope you will agree with me. And um, I'll ask if you can try and hold your questions for the end. I will have time for you to do that. But um, yeah, if it is, if you feel that it's absolutely essential, then feel free to interrupt and stop me at any point, okay, and ask. Otherwise, just write it down. If you don't already have, please grab a pen and paper. I think you're going to hopefully learn a lot in this intro to essential oils class. Okay, so my name is Jade. I'm going to be going through a little welcome, um, talk about my story, why Young Living? I think that that is so important because essential oils are found everywhere these days. Then we're going to cover the three methods of use. I'm going to talk about the most versatile essential oils. And then this month, every month, there's always different things happening within Young Living, but I'm going to focus on what's happening in April. And then we'll touch on some resources and education for those of you that want to learn more and questions and answers, which we'll cover at the end. Okay, so this is my why. So again, my name is Jade Elmale, and if you don't know me, I am a mom of two little girls. One is 10 and the other is seven. The picture on the right is the most recent. We were actually in the game reserve very recently. So that's my family right there. And this is why I actually do this Young Living business, which is absolutely optional. But for me, it has allowed us a lot of time freedom, a lot of financial freedom, and yeah, just this ability to go and be immersed with my family. And I had no idea that I would be doing this as a business. I was actually working as, as a sleep trainer and a person who does routines with moms and their babies. And so what happened is my younger daughter, Sage, who was 16 months at the time, and you see her in these pictures, this was right around the time when this actually happened. She wasn't well. So that's why I've actually focused on these three pictures of her. And it was around this time, she really got quite sick. And I didn't have any answers of what exactly was wrong. And I tell you, we went through so many of these rashes on her body as well, which she would get after having whatever virus she had. But the worst was when she had these um, fevers that lasted 10 days. And in that time, she actually had a febrile seizure. So if you've never heard of that term, it's when the body gets a temperature that is so high, the fever spikes basically, and the body goes into a seizure because it can't cope with such a high temperature that it does that to try and re-regulate itself. So it's quite scary as a parent to watch that. And um, I just felt at a loss because I was told by all the pediatricians that saw us and tried to help us that, oh, there's not a whole lot we can do. But if you just medicate her, just put her on painkillers and you alternate the painkillers every four hours, then at least you can control those temperatures and keep it down. Well, I will tell you that I did what they were suggesting and I pumped so much medicine in this poor little 16 year month old body. And I just didn't really feel that I was getting much of a difference. Nothing was really changing. So I felt divinely inspired, inspired, I guess, and guided to reading some Facebook post that my friend's sister posted about how she loves doing this business of young living because she gets to educate people um, from wherever she is. And this is what she does. Well, I remembered that I reached out to my friend, I got hold of Stacy, who is her sister, told her this whole story. And she said, well, I can tell you that no, not only will these essential oils help you with what you're going through, but they should help prevent her from getting sick in the first place. So I was really passionate about that. And um, that is really what started my journey. So we got a premium starter kit, which I'd still say is the best way to get started because those are the most versatile and popular oils. And I used literally, here's my peppermint. This is one of my favorite essential oils because this for me, is what made the difference in our lives. So one drop of peppermint essential oil from Young Living in a 10 mil roller, which looks like this, filled with some carrier oil, which we will cover, which looks like this. Um, and all I did was about three weeks after getting my starter kit, I rolled that around her belly, down her spine, 
And that is the thing that has solved that and so much more for us as a family. So obviously I was very passionate. I shared about this. And the next thing I knew without even realizing it, I was actually doing the business side of Young Living. So we do things very differently. We really share from our own testimonials and we are like a living proof. Anyone who works with Young Living is gonna do things very differently. So yes, it is network marketing, but it's very deliberately a network marketing company. And that is because there is no way you can have these products on the shelves in grocery stores, in pharmacies. There is no way that somebody can just tell you, oh, yeah, just uh, peppermint oil, put that on your child. There's so much more to it. So this is really almost like when you get Young Living Essential Oils, it's, imagine like as if you were joining a gym, you get given the free personal trainer. So that person's going to hold your hand, show you how to use the equipment, what to do track you, train you, you know, go through the whole process. It's kind of the same thing with Young Living. So you get this free guide that would be me or the person who invited you today, and they would hold your hand and walk this journey with you because that is exactly what this is. It's a journey and it's a lifestyle. And we have a lot more products than just essential oils. We have cleaning products and so many things. But let me move into our essential oils. That's, that's the basis. That's what started this all. And let's touch on how they work, what they actually are. So a lot of people say, you know, do essentials really, essential oils really work? And we say, you know, not to get too sciencey, but it's an important topic to understand. So it's all good and fun to hear a thousand times. And I'm sure you've heard lots of people sing from the rooftops, essential oils work, but we get it. You actually really want to know how they work and why they work. So oils work when they enter the body by inhalation. That's when we smell them by absorption, which is when we apply them or use them topically, or ingestion, which is when we eat them. So more on each of these methods, we're going to come through that later. So because the body recognizes oils as nutrients, they work synergistically to help support our natural healing response. In contrast, synthetic chemicals are recognized as foreign substances and often contain dangerous ingredients to mimic the properties that nature built into botanicals. So this is why essential oils actually work. I hope that that makes sense for people. I'll tell you a little bit more here. So essential oils are composed of very, very, very teeny tiny molecules, making them extremely concentrated. So one drop of essential oil contains approximately 40 million trillion molecules. So numer numerically, that is a four with 19 zeros after it. Okay, so you can see that number on that page. That's pretty darn insane. And essential oils also work very, very quickly. Of course, I'm talking about pure essential oils. So we'll touch on that in a second. And to answer how fast do they actually work? Well, in 22 seconds, the molecules reach your brain. In two minutes, they can be found in your bloodstream. And in 20 minutes, they'll affect every single cell in your body. So since we have 100 trillion cells in our bodies, one drop of essential oil contains enough molecules to cover every single cell in your body. So, which of course has 40,000 molecules because the molecular structure of essential oils is so small, they can penetrate our skin, enter our bloodstream and can support the internal organs of the body. So when you actually just inhale an essential oil, just inhalation, it travels through our nasal passage to a receptor neuron that transports it up to our limbic brain. That's our mind's control center for emotions, mood and memory. So, the oil molecules go up inside your brain, seriously, just from smelling it. And because the molecules are so small, essential oils can penetrate the blood-brain barrier, which is part of why they're so effective for therapeutic use. Within 20 minutes of being placed anywhere in our skin, they will penetrate and affect every cell within our bodies. And that is why using the highest quality oil is really a non-negotiable. Kidokes. So... This is super important. Not all essential oils are created equally. So let's discuss why Young Living. So we love that essential oils are all the rage and no longer considered weird hippie voodoo. And all sorts of brands of essential oils can now be found everywhere, from grocery stores to pharmacies, promising all sorts of things. But the problem is you don't actually know what's inside those bottles. So they might be diluted, they might just be impure, or 
they're not even what they are claiming to be at all. So price is what you pay, but value is truly what you get. Young Living Oils may cost more than those cheapy oils on the shelf at the shops, but let's break down why this is and how they are amazing value once you understand the difference. Just remember also that you aren't cheap and so you truly deserve the best. So we say put down that 75 rand bottle of lavender oil. So today, many essential oil manufacturers make synthetic oils in a lab that smell exactly like the plant they claim to be from. So your nose truly doesn't know the difference, but your body most certainly does. Unfortunately, the essential oil industry is highly under-regulated, and there are many tricks of the trade used to mass produce ex inexpensive oils. So they can be cut with synthetics, Floral waters can be labeled as essential oils. Oils can be extracted from plants using toxic solvents that actually leave chemical byproducts in your oil, and the list goes on. So these products will not only help, help you to have a healthier body, body, mind, or home, instead they can be actually quite dangerous to your health when you're using the crappy kind. So Young Living has what we call a quality commitment that's called their seed to seal promise. So. This is not just a slogan. It actually means that from the time that the certified non-GMO seeds are chosen and hand-picked to the time each little individual bottle is sealed, every single step of that process is painstakingly controlled 100% by Young Living, truly every single step. So we also have three pillars of what we call our seed to seal process sourcing, science, and standards, which ensure that the farming, harvesting, distillation, legal compliance, and quality testing of the essential oils produced by Young Living are all done without compromise. It also ensures that we care deeply for our earth, our farms, and the plants, and the employees and communities that surround them. So Young Living is truly the original essential oil company, bringing pure oils from the soil to the oil since 1994. And it's a process that takes years to begin and far more to perfect. So again, you really shouldn't settle for anything less. It is the largest essential oil company in the world that owns or partners with each of their farms and distills all of their essential oils on site. So there's really nothing to hide. And like all contraire, they're actually so open and so transparent that their farms and distilleries around the world are open to the public where you too can see their commitment to quality and sustainability with your very own eyes. And you can stick your hands in the dirt. It's really rather magical. So it's kind of like the same idea as when you go to an open kitchen restaurant and they're super transparent. You order a salmon and you ask for them to please prepare it with olive oil, not with butter. Maybe you have a dairy allergy and it's an open kitchen. You can watch and literally see them preparing that fresh caught salmon for you in the olive oil like you asked. So we do encourage you guys to visit our farms, tour our distilleries, participate in a harvest, meet the people, and you will feel the true passion for the plants and mother nature for yourself. So there is a link there if you want. We have so many farm stories of people working on the farms. So it's here at Palo hyphenessentials.com forward slash farm stories. Okay, distillation, super, super important. When I got started, I had no clue what this meant, but distillation is actually, should be a one-time process. This is, Young Living is the only essential oil company that does distillation correctly because what you are getting that is bottled and sold to you is a one-time distillation process. It means let me explain that to you. So imagine that you go to a coffee shop and you're the first customer of the day and you order your cup of coffee and you watch them make your first fresh one-time distilled coffee. So coffee is not distilled at all, like essential oils, by the way, but just bear with me for this example, okay? So you take a sip and it's so delicious, it's potent, it's fragrant, it's all the things you want it to be. The second customer orders a coffee exactly like that, and you watch the barista add more water to the, the machine and brew their coffee. They got a two-time distilled coffee. Customer number three comes in, also wants the same coffee, so more water is added. So you get where I'm going. Let's just assume that customer five comes in, asks for a cup of coffee, same idea, more water was added, and they actually want to like spit this out and they're like, oh, this is very watered down. It doesn't really taste so strong and potent. But that barista could actually argue and say, you asked for coffee and I gave you coffee. In fact, it's 100% pure coffee. So that's exactly what every other essential oil company is doing. 
So almost all of them are selling you second, third, fourth, and even fifth time distilled oils. And that actually allows for cheap mass production. Plus, the more you distill certain plants, the sweeter they can smell. And unfortunately, most companies place value on fragrance over benefits because they know customers will be attracted to the smell. So if an oil is improperly distilled, you get little to no benefit at all. All. So again, this is why it is so important that you know what you're getting. And this is why most people when they smell our oils or they use them for the first time will say, I actually used a whole lot less than I used to use with X brand. Well, that makes sense because it's so potent. You don't need to use as much. And they'll say right away, wow, the smell. So I encourage you especially to compare Young Living Peppermint to any other one you might have. So here's a little fun fact. Okay, the image that you see on the right here is actually our blue cypress essential oil. And it's a really cool distillation example. So blue cypress is a beautiful tree with 280 known chemical constituents. So if you want the full therapeutic benefits of blue cypress oil, it must have all of those 280 constituents present. So in order to achieve this, this tree must be grown and harvested correctly. And then it must be distilled for exactly 24 hours at a very precise temperature and pressure with the sap, the heartwood and the bark all together. Okay, otherwise this oil will be clear and it will not be this beaming beautiful blue color and the reason it's distilled for 24 hours is that during the last 20 minutes of distillation 18 of the vital active constituents get released from the branches so if cypress is distilled for any other amount of time its therapeutic properties will be missing from the oil so for example if you distill it for 20 hours and you you'll only get 20 properties if you distill it for 26 hours you get none of these properties. So that's just an example of one of the essential oils that Young Living has perfected the exact time and the, the correct way to distill it. So most cypress oil on the market is distilled for only three and a half hours. That's shocking, but that's just a really cool example of how Young Living differs. All right, then purity. I mean, honestly, I can go on about this forever. So I'm actually not going to, but what I do want to talk to, to you guys about with this is that you actually can't label, sorry, I think my lights went off here, hang on one second, there, okay, you actually cannot label an essential oil organic when you have a global company, it just doesn't work, there is no such label that goes across the globe because every single country has its own set of standards for what organic means. By the way, you also, some labels that you might see on bottles will say certified pure, but guess what? There is really no such thing. So clever marketers depend on the customer's ignorance. So if a certification is trademarked, it actually means that that company just paid money to use that word. There's no actual certification for purity. So sadly, we say you've been certifiably bamboozled. So while on the topic of purity, did you know that a truly pure essential oil will never expire? So that's true. Unfortunately, in young in South Africa, there is some labeling law here that you have to, any single product or item that sits on a shelf or can needs to have a two-year expiration date. But I can tell you, I got started using these essential oils in the United States where we work under the FDA, the Federal Drug Administration. They are so insanely strict. There is no expiration dates on our essential oils. So again, only, and then I've seen it on every other essential oil brand an expiration date. So that's kind of an indicator right there that there's something not pure about it. Okay, so testing. Um, again, Young Living has spent actually more than 25 years now building the most sophisticated in-house labs in the world for testing essential oils. Devices in these labs can detect heavy metals down to the part per billion. So that's like singling out one drop of water in an Olympic sized swimming pool it can actually detect that. So our labs go far beyond the essential oil industry standard and perform 20 different quality assessment tests in triplicate on each batch of oil to ensure that it's pure and unadulterated, that it's free of heavy metals, pesticides, and any harmful ingredients like mold or bacteria. So if the oil passes those 60 tests, 
it goes off to be bottled or blended. Then it's tested again in triplicates. Yes, that's three times twice. So this means that over 120 tests are done on every batch of oil, and it takes 20 people over a week to test each batch. So if at any point the batch fails the test, it's used for research purposes to find out why it failed, and then it's tossed, or it gets used on our farms for cleaning purposes. It never gets resold to recoup lost money. No other company in the world goes to such great lengths to ensure the quality of their oils. So we also work with seven external third-party labs who do additional forensic testing, which not, which, sorry, not just labs of their own, like many other companies. We use some of the same labs that the FBI uses. So when we say we are the world leader in essential oils, we're dead serious. Okay, and then for those of you who are truly sciencey, take a look on the right-hand side of, of the page. There are the 20 tests that Young Living performs. That'll show you exactly what it's testing for, like viscometry. I mean, there's so many things there. I'm not going to go into all of that, but I can share these slides if you wanted to know more. So we also go beyond organic and we really follow all organic practices plus more, like I said, okay? So some examples of this is in in order to be, let's say, USDA certified organic, the USDA requires that land must have had no prohibited substances applied to it for at least three years before the harvest of an organic crop. So Young Living goes beyond that organic standard and also does a full chemical analysis of the soil to test for any chem chemicals present in the PPB, that part per billion level that may have been there from far more than three years ago. Because of this, Many of our young living farms started on virgin soil to ensure absolute purity. So that's one example. Again, there's five there, and I can share these slides with you guys as well, so you can read more. So here is also just discussing a little bit about worldwide certifications. And an example here is that we have a beautiful farm in Ecuador, which meets and exceeds our organic certification for Ecuadorian plus American and European certified organic standards. So getting an organic certification for all of them, co-op and company owned, would be a multi-year and multi-million dollar process and would drive up the cost of our products. So that's why we don't do that. It's like going to a farmer's market and buying produce from a farmer who runs a farm without any chemicals but doesn't pay for the organic label versus the booth next door with the EcoCert organic label. So being certified organic also means that you use FDA certified organic pesticides. There are over 40, many of which are not clean on your crops. So, you know, which apples cost more and which one would you actually like to eat? So it's just, you know, some interesting facts there for you guys. So let's shift over into how we use these essential oils. So now I've explained to you why Young Living, what Young Living does that is totally different that nobody else is doing. Now I'm gonna to touch on the three methods of use, which I kind of covered in the very beginning, but now we're gonna go into a little bit more detail. So the first method is aromatic use. So research shows that the pure constituents in therapeutic grade essential oils stimulate olfactory receptors and activate those regions in the brain's limbic system associated with memory, emotion, and consciousness. So simply inhaling them can ease daily stresses and emotional ups and downs. So the two ways to use them aromatically, one way is you would place one or two drops of your chosen oil into your palms, and you can add a couple drops of carrier oil. So this is Young Living's V6. And then you would just rub them together like this. You can cup your hands over your nose and mouth, close your eyes and inhale slowly. So we call that a fun way is either a scent tent or an aroma dome. So you're making that for yourself and you are already going to be getting the benefit of that essential oil. Of course, the other way is using a diffuser. So I happen to have my ember diffuser here just to show you guys but there are so many that we have with young living super important to use a good quality diffuser again they're not all made equally and young livings all use a medical grade plastic inside if you don't use good quality what happens is you are because our essential oils are so potent because they are so pure they actually leach 
the toxins out of that plastic and they're just putting those petrochemicals in the air. So sadly, not only are you not getting the therapeutic benefit of the oil, but you're now actually putting chemicals in the air that you're now inhaling. So you don't want to do that. Ours also come with a one-year warranty, which is quite nice. So you must use cool mist. I'm sure so many of you have seen those little tea lights where you are actually heating the essential oil. That is never a good idea because what you're doing is you're breaking down the chemical constituents and the components of that essential oil. It's going to lose its therapeutic properties. So all of ours have an ionic little plate at the bottom. I would show you, but mine actually has some water in it. But if you take a look on the inside, it's a little silver and white disc and it keeps that water cool and it will help propel those essential oil molecules into the air. So it also helps for that, for that those essential oils to even stay longer, even after the diffuser is turned off. So yeah, that's it. Of course, essential oils, using it in the diffuser can help to boost your energy, help increase focus, or for example, promote a more restful sleep. Um, one of my favorite ways is it just, it just purifies the air so nicely for us. So you don't wanna be using those plugins in the wall. They're very, very toxic. And something that I actually recently learned, I heard of a family who someone was really like a member in the family was coughing and it had been lasting like two or three months and go figure. They found out that it was that fly, that thing that sprays some sort of stuff to kill flies. And they literally thought that this family member was actually just asthmatic. They were going and doing all sorts of tests. They just realized, oh, maybe this thing is not so great for us. They got rid of that fly spray thing that like does that automatic spritz and suddenly no issues, no respiratory issues whatsoever. So, and we use the diffuser instead. So there are oils actually that will help to keep away mechies, muzzies, flies, insects, all the things. Okay, the second method of use is topical use. So many essential oils can be applied directly to the skin with no dilution or diluted which we would use a carrier oil like Young Living's V6. Some of my other favorites, by the, way, by the way, are MCT oil. You can get that at Wellness Warehouse or at most like health food stores. And then just remember that when we talk about carrier oil, I'm literally talking about almost all of those you can find in your kitchen. Coconut oil, avocado oil, grapeseed oil, all of those are carrier oils. My favorites are Young Living's V6 because I love how it goes on, it's actually six vegetable complexes in that, like grapeseed oil and such. It has no smell, which I like, but you absolutely can use olive oil if you wanted or coconut oil. I just find that it will change the smell of it. So, and then my next favorite is gonna be that MCT oil or fractionated coconut oil because neither have a smell. So you can either use the essential oils neat or directly, which means you would take it from the bottle and you would pop, you know, put like one or two drops into your palm, and then you would put it on the body part that you wanted. An example of that, I'm just being so random, but purification, like one drop of purification essential oil. If you have a dry or scratchy throat, you put it on the outside of the throat, okay? Or to prevent an ear infection, you would actually put it on the outside, on the cartilage part of your ear. So that's topical use, using it directly, meaning neat undiluted. So we don't use that that way with children. We usually will dilute it for children. And the other way that we do it is using a roller bottle. So this is what a roller bottle looks like as an example. This is a 10 milliliter with a stainless steel roller ball inside it. And now you can make your own, we like to call this like a pocket pharmacy. So you would have it open like this, and the way you would make these is you would put the essential oils in first, depending on what you're making, then you will add the carrier oil. So almost always it's essential oils first because we don't know how much space those essential oils are gonna take, right? And then we fill it with the carrier oil after the fact. And we are using this for things like tummy tamer, uh, for a sore upset tummy, for pain like headaches or period pain. So it's really helpful to have it pre-made and ready in a roller. And this way, as I said, you have your pocket pharmacy. So this is something I've done also with my kids. I have each of them have like their little first aid kit. We have done a class on our first aid kit and what goes in it and how we made it. 
but they have things in there like an owie oil for boo-boos, cuts, scrapes, bruises. I have a little mini boo-boo spray. And then I have um, a little ointment as well, which I've made that has some oils for, for healing and soothing. And then they also have, what else is in that one? I think a pain, a little mini pain roller as well. Like if there is like a, a bump or a bruise or something that's painful. So they each have those. Oh, and for tummies, an upset tummy. They both have a little mini roller for sore tummies. Well, I cannot tell you that they come home and they ask me to refill these things because they're so often helping their friends at school who have a sore tummy or boo-boos, et cetera. So, and often I have a parent like, oh, my kid was so happy. Your child had something that she put on them when they got stung by whatever insect. So it's really, really helpful to just have these things on hand and your rollers are gonna help to maximize the length of time for your essential oils, okay? The final method of use is internal use. So using them internally, you can actually make a capsule. So this is an empty capsule. I hope you can see. I mean, I love that we're doing this, you know, load shedding and all. But you want to get a vegetable capsule that's a size zero, zero. You can get them from most health, most health food stores. And the way you make it is quite simple. And you would just open that capsule. Again, you're going to put essential oils in first. And then I like to use a dropper bottle. So this is a dropper bottle, if you can see. I'll actually switch to see my own camera. <laughs> there we go. So yeah, there, that's like a dropper bottle. And I like to put olive oil in my dropper bottle for my capsules because it's more fatty and it just helps to digest the essential oils quite well. So some of the reasons to use a capsule is a really bad upset sore tummy. So things like tummy bugs, things like um, pain, you can actually make something for really bad pain. And also allergies. I cannot tell you how many people come and say, oh, I have seasonal allergies. I've got the watering eyes, sneezing, all the things. So that would be lavender, lemon, peppermint, one to two drops of each of those essential oils. And then you want to add the olive oil carrier. So you would just decant some olive oil into a dropper bottle like this and just keep that on hand and make yourself a capsule. You take that with water and you will feel relief pretty darn instantly. It's, it's incredible. My other favorite use of this is making an immunity bomb. So the immunity bomb is going to have four drops of thieves essential oil, three drops of oregano essential oil, two drops of lemon and two drops of frank. And then you add frankincense and then you add the olive oil and that one take with food. Okay. So that's some ways that we use it in a capsule and then we can put it in water or food. Now in water, make sure that you are using a stainless steel bottle like this one or a glass bottle. Again, you don't want to use plastic. And you remember my reason that's going to leach those toxins or chemicals. Um, the other thing is in food, you are really using it to enhance the flavor of food. For example, cinnamon bark, one drop in your oatmeal. It's really delicious. Or you're making chocolate and you add one drop of orange essential oil for the flavor. Generally speaking, if you are adding heat because you're putting it into like peppermint infused brownies, you are not going to get the therapeutic use of that peppermint. Okay, so much as I'd also love to have a peppermint brownie to lower a temperature, it's not going to work like that. So this is really just in this instance, it's just to flavor and enhance food. However, you can definitely put grapefruit, lemon, or even a little bit of peppermint. That's the weight loss trio, by the way, grapefruit, lemon, and peppermint. So you can make a capsule for that, or you can do a drop in your water to just help to kind of flush the toxins and get things going. Um, so that's some ideas. Okay, now we're going to move into discussing some of each of these essential oils and their uses. So it's really helpful to kind of get a sense of this. Again, this information can be quite overwhelming. So if you are new, please don't worry. This is just a nice overview and I can share these slides with you guys. So we're going to go through the ones that are in the premium starter bundle. It's very specific that I, I talk about those ones because they really are the most popular and they are the most versatile of all the essential oils. So lavender, we kind of joking call it the gateway oil. When it comes to essential oils, we have single oils and we have blended. 
Single mean, it is what it is. It comes straight from that plant. So lavender is a single oil. Lemon, single oil. Orange, single oil. Peppermint, you get the gist. Blended oils are going to be things like purification. There's no such plant called purification, but it's a blend. It's a very specific blend for a very specific purpose, but it does usually cover quite a few different things. So lavender, another phrase you'll often hear us say about lavender is it's like the Swiss army knife of all essential oils because it, it can do so much. So when in doubt and you don't know which oil to use, lavender is your go-to. We use lavender all three ways. So aromatically, topically, and internally, it is safe for internal use. So it's wonderful for sleep. So you can diffuse it or rub it on your feet at bedtime to promote restful sleep. For stress, it absolutely calms people down. So it helps relax his muscles. It eases tension. We say happy spring. This is um, an older slide and we have to be compliant sometimes. So we mean allergies. Okay, So you can diffuse it or apply it on you to relieve seasonal stuffiness. Eyelashes, it makes them grow. So it actually will make hair grow. You can put a drop into your mascara and or drop into your shampoo. It's really great for skin. If you have any kind of rash or skin issue, it's gonna to help to soothe it. And then when you put it in your bath, this is another way to relax. We never, ever, ever put essential oils onto water. They're always gonna sit at the top of the water and that could aggravate your skin. You might be quite sensitive. So when we put essential oils in a bath for specific reasons like detox or immunity, or de-stressing, you're going to want to put it into Epsom salts. So Epsom salts are magnesium. It's a wonderful way for your body to actually absorb magnesium. We never have enough of it. So you can add the essential oils to Epsom salts, and then you can throw that into the bath. So it smells amazing, and you're actually getting like a double benefit there. Again, hair and scalp, lavender is wonderful for if you have dryness, if you get um, like seasonal dandruff, then you can even put a, neat, a drop neat on your scalp and just kind of massage that in. Brilliant for little babies too with cradle cap in a bit of coconut oil. And then you put that on their head and you can comb it out and bye-bye cradle cap. Okay, peppermint, put some pep in your step. So peppermint is great for digestion. It's brilliant for nausea or motion sickness. You can literally just hold the bottle open really wonderful for cancer patients if they are doing chemotherapy to just sit with it open like this to just help prevent the nausea it's really really helpful um fresh breath so if you don't want to chew gum you can just put a drop one drop on the tongue is so strong so i really recommend actually doing one drop in the palm of your hand using a pinky finger and then putting that on the tongue whatever's left you can put at the back of your neck it will really wake you up but just watch Peppermint, if you get it by your eyes, it's a hot oil, meaning it feels like it could be burning. So just have some carrier oil on hand, okay? So if you did get peppermint oil by or in or around your eyes, it's going to burn a little bit. Grab any carrier oil you can find, olive oil, coconut oil, avocado oil, V6, or whatever it is, and you just dilute it out, okay? So even yes, if it's in your eye, all of those are safe to put in your eyes. By the way, the carrier oil, not the essential oil, and it will absolutely soothe it and calm it. So it's also great for sore muscles, peppermint, for flavoring foods. It'll wake you up. I love to put this in the diffuser when I'm feeling like a slump or first thing in the morning. And it also will curb your appetite. That's why it's part of the weight loss trio, which was grapefruit, lemon, and peppermint. Okay, so lemon. When life gives you lemons, use lemon oil. So lemon, a nice little fun fact, it's actually made from the rind of a lemon. So it's an alkaline essential oil. It is not acidic. So a lot of us know, oh yes, well, you've been told, cut a lemon in half, a fresh lemon, and squeeze out that juice in the water. And that's so detoxifying and so cleansing. Our essential oil is a much better way of detoxing because it is alkaline and so much better for your teeth and it alkalizes the body. So it's really good for clarity, it actually legit gives you greater mental clarity and any and all citrus essential oils will uplift moods. That's because they have a frequency at which they work and so they actually lift up your frequency. It's great for heartburn, you can add it to a glass of water to help reduce that. Awesome for your dishwasher, 
lemon cleans all the things. So you'll see that later here, we, we talk about gum and grease and or we're talking about chewing gum, by the way. So if you need to remove chewing gum because some little toddler somehow got chewing gum stuck on a piece of clothing, put one or two drops of lemon and leave it there for a bit. It will actually help to like disintegrate it and get rid of it. Even for grease, if you have a husband who's a mechanic or somehow gets greasy and dirty because they did some housework, um, it will help to remove that. I remember my husband painting our fence and he had all little flicks of the paint that he used on the fence. And so we used lemon oil and got rid of that in a second. Crayons from most surfaces, even permanent marker. So try it. It's really a great stain remover. And another really awesome thing I've loved to use it with is when kids like those little temporary tattoos and they put that on and then it's day two and this thing looks awful and it looks like a bit of dirt on their hand. One or two drops on cotton wool and you just gently rub it off. It will remove whatever sticky substance, whatever residue is left. It's also great for your gums and nice in a laundry, in your laundry to give it a boost. Okay, it brightens clothes. Citronella. So this one was included in the South Africa starter kit because it is gentle for you, but it's poison for pests. And we have lots of pests and insects because this is Africa. So it is fantastic to repel insects. So you can diffuse it or apply it topically to deter bugs naturally. I actually read such an interesting article the other day about a person who learned that they had DEET poisoning, essentially. So DEET is the product that is found in most bag repellents. It is extremely toxic. And this person had used it for some time and went on a, like just anyway, did a detox and realized that he could literally smell the insect repellent, even though he hadn't used it. He was vomiting and he was vomiting and getting rid of all the DEET that had been built up over years. I thought that was fascinating. And since he learned what was bothering him so much he doesn't touch the stuff and he he cured himself of some I don't know some strange autoimmune thing that he had so very interesting stuff I, I do know that DEET is found in most insect repellents so just look for it and stay away from that make your own it's very easy to make a spray bottle all you need is like a bottle it's usually a glass bottle by the way and it has like a little atomizer or a spray pump you would put, for example, 10 drops of citronella essential oil into about a 50 ml size, a glass bottle 50 ml, and then you add a teaspoon of witch hazel because it's an astringent because oil and water don't really mix, and then you fill it up with water. Give it a little shake, and there is your natural bug repellent. It's also great for inflammation, citronella. It's wonderful as well to remove odors and then for sore muscles. Okay, frankincense. So a lot of you know about frankincense because it was one of the gifts given to baby Jesus. So it's quite a holy oil and it was found in ancient times. And frankincense is quite hard to distill. It's definitely not a cheap essential oil. And it is our powerhouse oil in terms of anointing, healing, prayer, meditation, grounding, all the things. It's actually anti-aging as well. And this is our anti-cancer essential oil as well. So just a quick note, I'm not, you know, I'm not a doctor. I'm not trying to make medical claims, but I do know of places where you can even go and get frankincense put in through an IV and it has helped cancer patients to minimize or even shrink altogether their cancerous tumor. So we have lots of info on frankincense and how it can be used in a cancer protocol. And it's really helped. I even know of girls or women where there was breast cancer in the family and they actually use like a roller that they've made with frankincense in it to prevent getting breast cancer. And they roll that under their arms. Super important to switch again from a toxic deodorant to a non-toxic. Very, very important for men and women. Breast cancer is not just found in women. It is definitely found in men as well, sadly. So it's a really awesome thing to know that this is the preventative or can help for sure. Anyway, 
It's also great for concentration, putting one or two drops in the back of the neck to help improve concentration. I know so many people I also love to do this. I just put one drop neat on my head because our hair is also a natural diffuser. So just smelling that in the day, it does not make your hair greasy. It will help to keep you calm and grounded. And by the way, it's like brain food. It's literally putting this incredible essential oil that looks for cells that are not functioning in the way that they should and tries to repair them and get them to do what they should be doing. This is why it's kind of known as the anti-cancer essential oil as well. It's great for nails, for skin. We, we also refer to it as Botox in a bottle. So this together with rose essential oil are our two brilliant anti-wrinkle, anti-aging essential oils. So it's really nice to put a drop in your moisturizer morning and night. So good for stress. It is just naturally very, very grounding. It's, for, it's a tree oil. So a lot of our tree oils are very, very grounding. Also uplifts your mood and fantastic for sleep. If you want to diffuse it with lavender and YL Haven. So Stress Away is the same bottle and same essential oil as YL Haven. South Africa would not let us label it Stress Away, but it's exactly the same thing. So it's called YL Haven here. Moving on to purification, because sometimes life stinks. So this one is a blend. It has citronella, lavender, lemongrass, rosemary, myrtle, and tea tree. It smells amazing. It's one of my husband's favorite smells, actually. He loves all things with lemongrass. So it's, yeah, it's, it's definitely appealing to most masculine people or energies. And um, this one, I also like to remember it as it prevents infection. Purification prevents infection. So I use this one. We don't use it internally. So I love to use this to prevent a UTI. I put one drop of purification, one drop of lemon in the palm of my hand, rub that over my bladder. Can I tell you how much that helps? It is brilliant. Also preventing an ear infection, right? On the outside of our ear, you just rub some purification. Preventing a throat infection or getting sick on the outside of your throat. So you get the gist. Also, we often will put it in our immunity roller that we make. And that together with thieves is going to help prevent you getting sick. So it also purifies the air. So in the States, I know we get a product called Febreze. Very, very, very toxic. It's got so many different things thrown into it. Anything that smells amazing, but it's a fake smell, like your laundry detergent, your um, like Stay Soft. These things are so toxic, unfortunately. But if you like those smells because you're like, oh, but that tells me it's clean. Seriously, use purification instead. Try, because what those products are doing are disrupting your hormones. They are known endocrine disruptors. And that's really unfortunate. Um, whether you have boys or girls at home, even if you don't have children, it's something that you cannot take lightly anymore. We know that it does this. There have been Studies shown there's so much that links, unfortunately, these products that we're buying on the shelves and in the store. So the good news is there are alternatives. And most of the time, they're actually super concentrated. We have this idea that, oh, you're going to pay so much more money if you start living a natural, more healthy lifestyle. Not at all. You use far less. That's what happens. So it's, it's almost like imagine that suddenly everything's not like mass produced and you're getting it in huge bulk, but you, you're getting smaller amounts, but it lasts so much longer. So it really is absolutely affordable. And I'll talk about that in a little bit, transfer buying. But anyway, it also repels, purification repels insects. Very good for blemishes. So if you do have any marks on your skin, you can actually put that on at night. And I told you about the sore throat, fantastic for fresh laundry to make it smell nice. And in general, really good for any insect bite. So if you're bitten by a spider, a mosquito, anything that's itching or annoying you, use purification. Valor. Valor essential oil is so beautiful. This is why we call it the rainbows and unicorns. So it's actually a blend of black spruce, blue tansy, camphor, frankincense, and geranium. It smells phenomenal. So this for most people has replaced their perfume because of how awesome it smells. Perfume, sadly, is very, very toxic. It's also another umbrella product they can they use the term fragrance or perfume or parfum 
And sadly, what they're doing is they're throwing in tons and tons and tons of toxins to get it to be this unique smell. And no one's actually vetting or confirming that this is non-toxic because they're basically saying, well, it's our trade secret. So imagine again that you went to a restaurant and they said to you, oh, we're not going to tell you our secret sauce in the spaghetti bolognese that you loved because it's our signature recipe. So this is how there's a loophole for companies to actually throw in tons and tons of chemicals. It's just hidden under the term parfum or perfume. So sadly, very toxic. But we have essential oils and you can make your own and um, don't feel discouraged. Actually feel inspired that you can choose some smells and things that work for you that are actually healthy for your body and are therapeutic at the same time. So Valor is brilliant for tension as well, for stress, for sleep, to uplift your mood and for alignment. And the reason for this is this essential oil has the same frequency as our bones, which is quite fascinating. So we have found that it is really helpful for things like scoliosis, helps to align and straighten your spine. Very good for TMJ. If you have a jaw that's clicking or maybe you were grinding hard at night and your jaw hurts, you put it on the outside. So this essential oil is to be used aromatically and topically only. Um, and then it is also really good for confidence and for calming. So with kids, if it's their first day at school or they're, they're tackling something really challenging for them, or they're just more anxiety prone, you definitely want to use Valor. Another essential oil for kids, by the way, is called Kid Power, and it essentially has Valor in it with some other things. It smells amazing. It's my other favorite, like perfume. So it's a really good one to get if you have kids that do suffer from anxiety. Um, honestly, for us, even though I don't find that they have major anxiety, they have moments of it. But we just love that smell so much. The kids love it. So we often just use it before the day. Okay, so then orange. Orange, you're glad it comes in the starter kit. It's so great. It is a mood uplifter, also to flavor food. It is an aphrodisiac. So we actually have essential oils that help libido, which is incredible. And especially for people going through menopause and are post-menopausal, I have heard lots of concerns like vaginal dryness, so many things. We've actually done so many classes on this as well. So please check them out in my YouTube channel because you will learn a lot about using essential oils to help with hormones and to help with libido. So orange is one of them. And we actually apply it for women on your upper inner thighs. So this one is not to be put anywhere on or in your private parts or private areas. It's just upper thighs and it's a natural aphrodisiac. And then it's fantastic for sleep as well. You can diffuse it with lavender too to promote sleep and relaxation. By the way, little side note and hint here, Lang Lang and Orange, try and diffuse the two of those. That for me is like the aphrodisiac blend for women. It's just, I don't know, it's got some magical powers. Try it. Okay, Diagize is not found in our premium starter kit, but we actually have this oil in the SA lifestyle kit. So another little kit was created that's got five oils. It's actually on sale this month, which is really awesome. And they were very deliberately chosen to be in the SA lifestyle kit as well. So Diagize, we say if you eat food, you need this oil. This is my first essential oil that I would get outside of the starter kit for sure because it has ginger, anise, fennel, peppermint, tarragon, patchouli, lemongrass, and juniper. It's a lot of things. And actually it's a whole lot of stink. It stinks, this oil stinks, but it works like the bomb. So one drop under your tongue. And I'm telling you, if you felt like you were gonna be sick, you suddenly won't. If you feel so bloated, it helps to deflate you. If you're feeling um, constipated, it's gonna help you to go and have a bowel movement. If you have diarrhea, it's going to help calm that down and get you back to normal. So seriously, it is all things digestion. This is why I have a 15 ml bottle of this next to my bed at night, always, just in case I wake up and have a sore tummy. And I have one in my purse, in my handbag, all the time. I can even show you. It's like literally right here in my purse. And it's always, always, always in my bag. So this is my little like travel essential oil pouch. And Dajaz is in there, always with me. Okay, so 
Great for digestion and elimination, two to three drops in a veggie capsule, especially for those of you who struggle with how it tastes. It's brilliant for heartburn as well, for motion sickness too, and for travel. Do you know how some of us, when we travel, I, I hear this time and again, it even happens to me. I feel like something happens to my body. I get on an airplane and it goes, whoop, I don't know how to work. <laughs> I don't know what a bowel movement is. So we're in shock, I'm in shock, you're in shock, and we aren't going to the toilet for three days, just so you know. So Dajaz is brilliant to help with that, to get you back in your rhythm and your normal routine. Um, I also just find often when you travel, you're just eating different foods, right? So you're either getting more bloated, more just different tummy stuff, um, especially for us when we've often gone to Mexico, almost always we get some sort of tummy bag. So Dajaz is a must. Peace and calming. Is a beautiful essential oil also found in the SA Lifestyle Kit in one of those five oils. So keep calm and oil on. It is a beautiful blend of tangerine, orange, lang lang, patchouli, and blue tansy. I am loving diffusing this in my kids' room at night for sleep. Super wonderful for stress, relaxation, sleep, and again, mood uplifting. Really great for overactive children or pets. So I love this in the diffuser. I definitely find my youngest takes a little while to wind down at night. So this one is has been wonderful for us and really helps her to kind of calm down. Then um, Thieves Essential Oil. This is actually found in both the SA Lifestyle as well as the PSB because it is just so brilliant. So Thieves is a blend of clove, lemon, cinnamon, eucalyptus, and rosemary. Very quickly, it got its name because of the 16th century. There was a group of thieves stealing clothing from dead or dying bodies of the Black Plague. And at the time, it was a feudal system. The king heard about these thieves, wanted to know what they were doing to stay alive, and said he wouldn't behead them. That's what they used to do. They would punish them with death at the time if you were stealing. And he said, I will allow you to survive if you share what you do to stay alive and be able to like be around this plague so much. And they said, we come from a long line of spice merchants or apothecaries. So we know that when we blend clove, lemon, cinnamon, eucalyptus, and rosemary, and at the time, pestle and mortar, rubbing on their bodies, wearing balaclavas, we aren't contracting this plague. We're not getting sick. So the king said, that's lovely. Teach me, show us. And if we survive, you too will survive. So they did. And it is a true story. You can look it up. It's, it was in a town called Backelberry in England, and they were one of the only surviving towns during the Black Plague. So this is one of the things that actually literally helped for people to survive. So Gary Young, who started Young Living, was absolutely fascinated by that. And so he made an essential oil, which you can imagine how powerful it is, given that we are using these this blend of these plants and we are putting it in essential oil form so I can definitely tell you that I have watched with my own eyes how I have personally felt awful I'm getting sick for sure I'm coming down with something I've used thieves essential oil either in a tea in a roller bottle um, in inner defense which is also our my favorite capsule to take and I wake up the next day and I feel 100% fine I'm telling you there's times where I actually question did I really feel that sick but I know I did. I've been on an airplane and felt I'm going down with sickness for sure. I'm getting off this plane and I do not feel well. I've taken my thieves with me, put a drop under my tongue. Amazingly, I get off the plane. I feel 100%. So it's a powerhouse. I've also watched my kids skip over so many things that the whole class will get and they don't get it. It's because we are religious with using our immunity rollers. So you can make, um, put it in a veggie capsule, like I said, you can make thieves tea, which is just putting it in a mug of tea with honey, which supports the immune system. I do like to add lemon essential oil. So one drop thieves, two drops of lemon essential oil and honey, and then add some warm water. Great for headaches. We actually put a drop on our palm, stick it in your thumb and push your thumb to the roof of your mouth and just hold it there. And then for overall wellness, and if you have a scratchy throat, just swap a drop to the back of your throat. Eucalyptus radiata smells like the spa. So it's wonderful if you are congested or blocked. This for me replaces toxic chest rubs and pretty much all of them are toxic. So this is so easy to create an alternative for your family for 
breathing better and easier, you just take like a quarter cup of coconut oil, the cold, hard pressed kind, the one that goes hard in winter, you know, and then like liquefies in summer. So you just want to get a nice organic one of those, quarter cup of it, put it in a, a bowl, ceramic, stainless steel or glass, whip it up with a fork or an electric mixer, add about five to six drops of eucalyptus radiata, transfer it to a glass jar. There you go. Voila, chest rub that actually works for your chest and under your feet. It's also wonderful as a for head pain. It will help soothe that. And then for cleaning. So I really love the, adding this to the Thieves household cleaner for an extra boost. Tea tree is a wonderful antifungal. So this is found in the South Africa lifestyle kit. It is fantastic for acne, for pore cleansing. It has pore cleansing properties for owies and boo-boos. So this is great to clean owies and boo-boos. Way too strong used meat, I find. So I like to put this in a spray and then I spray it on my kids' cuts or scrapes. It will help to clean it. And then it's great to refresh and revive, to like add it to the household cleaners, air purifiers, or even your feet. And of course, helps to prevent lice. So every now and again, we always hear from the school, oh, lice is going around. I just whip out my lice prevention spray. It's got this, a little bit of peppermint and some purification to, to spray my kids and a bit of lavender, by the way. Spray their hair, their backpacks if they're taking them and we are good to go. Okay, so now moving on to understanding our loyalty company, uh, our loyalty program. So for those of you who start using and loving your essential oils, we have, Young Living has a program called Essential Rewards or Loyalty Rewards, by the way. So what this is, it's absolutely optional. You do not have to partake in it. But if you are loving your products, it makes the most sense because you get four perks for being on this program. And it's really just one of these things where Young Living kind of looks at you and says, hey, friend, thanks for being a loyal customer. How about we give you 25% back on everything you buy? And every month you come back and shop here. Plus, we'll also throw in a bunch of free gifts for you um, that you can just, you know, take as well. So that is really what Essential Rewards does. So just to cover a few of the things of what it is and why we love it, it's fully customizable. So this is where I was talking, I touched on transfer buying. So transfer buying for me is essentially where you take your budget, let's say that every month you spend 500 Rand on your laundry detergent, your toothpaste, your bath soaps, your et cetera, et cetera. Instead of going to Clicks or to Discam or wherever it is that you're buying it, even Wellness Warehouse, and spending that money there, you spend that money with Young Living instead. And you can get yourself an essential oil that you need or a body soap that you want, or a face wash, because you want to try that, or you're the, la the laundry detergent, or the household cleaner, the list goes on. So transfer how you're spending that budget and use it instead. Try in Young Living, and you can get a whole bunch of things that you, you will use. It will last you. So again, it's fully customizable, right? You might decide, oh, I'd love to try the Thieves household cleaner, and I definitely need oregano oil because we're going into winter and I know that that's the antibiotic oil and I'm going to get the inner defense supplements because again preventing sickness so think about what your family needs toothpaste vitamins etc again you can cancel it at like any of the items by the way or the entire program at any time there's no catch so it's really just the loyalty program which is optional it's convenient so you can get all your things and it gets delivered to your door. So a lot of people also don't often understand the concept of when you purchase this way, you're actually saving money because it's keeping you on target and focused on this is actually what we need and not going to the, the shops and saying, oh, oh, that, yeah, I'll try that soap. That looks nice. Oh, and then, the, and then there was a special for the bath salts of this thing. And then there was, oh, that's another different toothpaste. So it keeps you quite focused that you don't buy any additional extras, right? It's also very flexible. So what how it works is you choose a date that you remember. I often have mine on the 14th because that's my birth date. So it's easy to remember. And I just make sure that on the 13th, I go in to my online store, which is called our virtual office. I edit and change whatever I need to because sometimes by that time, 
it's actually, it looks a bit different to what I thought I wanted and needed. So I just keep a list on my phone of my ideal products that I actually want. And then I make sure that I'm happy with them. I put it into my essential rewards. And I actually have up until now time on the 14th before it processes. I also can change the date. So if I'm going to go away and I won't be here on the 14th and the shipping is going to arrive, but I'm not going to be here. <laughs> Sorry. I can choose a different date within the same month to satisfy the essential award. So I might choose to have it process on the 21st of that month as, you know, so it's, it's flexible and I can do a skip month if I really need. So if I'm going to be gone for the whole month and I just don't need it, I can actually do a skip month. At the moment, Young Living is allowing two skip months a year, and then you won't lose the points you get back, which are called reward points. That's the next perk. So reward points are like store credits, which you get to redeem later for free products of your choice. So every month you order, you actually earn points back. If you've been on the program for one to three months, you're getting 10% back of the PV value, PV product value. So because we are a universal international company, you might be in France next month, you can actually do a drop ship order in France of the products that they have in France, Young Living's products. So that's why we work on PV, product value. So the spend is 50 PV per month, which is approximately 750 Rand that you'd be spending. And again, you're earning store credit back and you also can have free products every month, which I'll show you how that works. So it really is a win-win. There's no fee, there's no annual fee, there's no contract. And really, if it's not for you, you can cancel it at any time. Before you would cancel it, definitely use your free points that you got because it's free product. So why not? So you also get a discounted per year. So our shipping is cheaper. And then of course we have freebies to offer you every month. So those are kind of called our promotion, like our monthly promos. So here is April's to give you an example. So if you spend hundred PV, now a reminder, you only have to spend 50 PV to satisfy your essential rewards. But if you spend hundred, you're getting a Valor 5 mil for free. Do you see that? That's on essential rewards. If you spent 150 PV, you actually get joy and valor. So it accumulates, you get both of those. If you spend 250 PV, you get all three of these. So now you're getting highest potential joy and valor. And if you spend 300 PV, you're getting forgiveness as well, plus free shipping. So that's quite a nice like bundle. So you can also look at what the promos are in that month and increase your spend amount because you want to take advantage and get more freebies. Or you just stick to your 50 PV, which is absolutely fine. You'll still get the cheaper courier and you'll get all the other perks as well as the, the rewards points back. The line below is quick order. So there are two ways to order within Young Living, essential rewards or quick order. So essential rewards are loyalty program and or quick order, which is one time when you want it. Maybe you want something in January and then you want something in March and you know, so on and so forth. So it's it's as you want. That you don't get as many perks, of course. You actually don't get any of those perks except some of these oils if you spend that amount. Okay. But that is still good to know because a lot of our promo oils, there are some perks. Here's some other specials this month. So often we have specials that happen in the month. Um, you can see there's 15% off Magnify Your Purpose, 25% off all of those essential oils. I love abundance. A lot of us know a little trick where we put abundance into the paint. If you're repainting your house, it will attract and bring you abundance, which is quite nice. And then there is present time is 30% off. There was actually just um, promo sales as well, by the way, that was kind of an Easter, like a flash sale. So make sure you take a look at those. It's from the 5th to the 11th of April. And those are quick order only. And then we have the Lifestyle Collection or the SA Lifestyle Kit. And it's 30% off this. So this one comes with Dajaz, Peace and Calming Thieves, Eucalyptus Radiata, and Tea Tree. And it's only 588 Rand. If you don't yet have any of the essential oils, I still recommend, this is always my favorite, favorite purchase. It is the Premium Starter Bundle. And you can choose the diffuser, of course, for 2,268 Rand. It will include the Desert Mist or the Ember, like I showed you, 
and the 10 essential oils. Plus you get a little bonus gift of some of that V6 carry oil, an empty roller and some little sample bottles that you can travel with some of those oils on you. Or you can opt to upgrade and choose the lantern diffuser instead. You'll pay a little bit more. Or the feather, which is for kids. It does have a night light. Uh, it does have white noise. So you can use that or not. All of our diffusers have different light settings. And you can have it not have the light on. So for me in my room at night, I don't want that light on. But in the daytime, it's quite nice to have the different color settings. And I, I kind of play around with it. And then... With Feather, as an example, it does have the white noise, but you can opt for it to not be used as well. So that's the best way to get started. And then just touching on our resources, we share so much. So we have WhatsApp groups. I hope that you're in a WhatsApp group. If you're not, please type in the chat and I can help you out. We also have a Facebook group. We have Instagram. And I have all these videos in this one too will also be found in our YouTube collection. So I really encourage you to look at that YouTube collection because we've spoken about so many different topics with essential oils and the other products that we have. And I try and keep most of the calls to 30 minutes long. So they're not that long. You can listen in the car and, and or wherever and whenever. But it's a really nice little education resource piece that we have within our team, Hello Essentials. So please take advantage of that. And then finally, we have a couple more classes coming up this month. So next week, Tuesday, we have our favorite essential oils and their uses that are outside of the premium starter bundle. So I'll talk more about things like Dajas, Oregano, a lot of those that I really, really love. So if you already have your premium starter bundle, join even if you don't it's just such a great one to kind of listen to and understand why we're loving the other ones and um, you can then create your own little list of what the things are that you want and then for those of you who might be interested in the business we're actually going to be talking about our compensation plan super generous it's one of the most generous that I know of in any network marketing business so you feel free you can join in on that one it will be on Wednesday April 26th and our upline or the person who helped Stacy is the one who I told you about in the beginning of the story. She'll be joining as well to educate on that. So that is open to anyone who's interested. And that is that for April. A lot of the content that you saw and read on these slides is actually in this essential book. So if you do want one or you don't have one, let me know. You can also just get it online. So there's that link to that. And um, you know, I'm quite quite proud to say that I co-wrote it. So it was a really a, a huge labor of love. I love our book and it does have a lot of information in there. And then a lot of you also ask, well, where can I get these supplies? And a lot of the supplies that you might want when you're first getting started are things like spray bottles, roller bottles, dropper bottles, capsules and a capsule holder, witch hazel, travel bags, labels and more. So a lot of the shops are going to be places like essentiallynatural.co.za. You can take a look for things like witch hazel and such. The bottle lady, she is located in Wellington, but she does have an online store. But you can also pick up if you are close to that area. There's Glasgut, Bonpack. I know Westpac also sells things. There's an oily spill shop and Therapy Living. So you can take a look at any of those. Again, I can share these slides. So if you missed it, I'll share them with you. And then finally, that brings me to the end of this class. And I will stop sharing the screen in a second so that you guys can ask any questions that you might have. Thank you for being patient and quiet and just listening. But if anyone has any questions, please feel free to unmute yourselves at this time and just ask, or you can write it in the chat. Um, always say don't ever feel shy or embarrassed to ask any question because you never know if someone wants to also learn the same thing so please feel free to ask any questions anyone I've, I've got a few questions but um it's got more to do with um well firstly i don't know if i'm registered for the er but I don't know if you want to do that maybe when we see each other or something like that. Sure, Isabel. So yes, I can help you. And it's quite easy to do it too. 
you would just log in. So you'd go to youngliving.com. Yeah, I actually did it just now. and But I thought when, when I initially ordered the, the premium pack, I thought that was something to be ticked. And I thought that... Yes. Um, um, so that I, I was automatically ER, but it doesn't look yes. like it. No, it needs you to verify. So sometimes when the first order was done over the phone and not on the website itself, okay. because of the copy act and things like that, they actually just want you to confirm. So if you've never used the ER template yourself, it's definitely going to tell you. And the wording is, it says join essential rewards. However, Technically, you have joined, but they need you to affirm that and to confirm okay. you're okay with that. Okay. Yeah. So you actually do want to choose join ER, and then you should see that you have 10 loyalty rewards points. And if you don't, member services is really so helpful. They really are wonderful people who know their stuff. So I'll, I'll share that number with you as well. And then you can always call them and ask. And they can even do orders over the phone, by the way. Um Sometimes yeah. if it gets kind of tricky to navigate the website. I'm, I'm thinking about taking advantage of that um, SA um, pack. Definitely. Does, yeah, I mean, what is it? 30%, I think. So that is it's 30% off. So it's, it's, yeah, 588 Rand now, yeah. um, which, is, which is a steal. It really is. I actually got one myself. So, mm -hmm. yeah, it really is good value. Definitely think about taking advantage. Yeah, otherwise I don't have questions. It was all very clear. <laughs> okay, great. Well, then thanks. Then I feel like I did a decent job. <laughs> so thank you. Definitely. Okay. Thank you guys for hanging yeah. on. I know that was a lot of information and usually my classes are half an hour, but this one covered a lot. So <laughs> thank you for hanging in there. Pleasure. Have a nice evening.